Hey everyone, it's EJ from iDesign.com here, and I have a really quick tip for you today about a little secret feature inside of an area light that actually has its own built-in softbox setting. So I should re reiterate that this is only available in an area light. It doesn't show up in any uh, omni light or infinite light, anything like that. So I'm going to choose an area light, and I'm going to go to my light here. I'm just going to move this forward in front of our little text edge bevel text treatment setup and I'm going to just render that out and we have our text nice and lit but if I go into my area light details tab I have these two options here and one of them is the show and render and the other is show and reflection so just for craps and giggles I'm going to show you what this show and render does so you see we have this square shape here right and if I render this you can see that with that show and render it's very aptly named function our softbox or our area light shape that rectangle or square shows up in our render but we also have this other option here that says show in reflection so I'm just gonna unselect that show and render and add this show and reflection and then I'll render this again And right now you really don't see anything but if you go to this visibility multiplier guy here let's just bring this up to about a thousand and let's render again so now you can see if you look right here we have that square area light shape now showing up in our text reflection so I can go ahead and just adjust these handles to make our area shape bigger and that's driven by this area shape option here so right now it's, it defaults to rectangle you can change the size and the X and the Y uh, all this good stuff so I'm just gonna bring uh, bring out the size and the X and just kinda move it above uh, a little above our text here and I'm gonna render that again so you can see we have this nice reflection of our area light shape showing and reflecting off of our text so I can go and maybe rotate this a little bit so it's a little bit of an angle and move this down a little hit render and you say we have you see we have this nice uh, reflection of this softbox shape showing up on our text so that's all built into our light shape so what I used to do before is if I wanted this to show up I just make a plane and make it a child of the light and zero out all of these options here uh, make sure that it's facing in the right direction uh, and then adjust it this way and then I have to make my own material that's hundred percent luminance and throw that on that plane to get that softbox shape but with an area light you don't need to do that it's already built in so you can actually make that reflection even brighter and say go to about tw uh, 2000 and you can see it's really getting really bright and you can even go into your actual softbox intensity and just overall brighten everything up so the nice thing about this area light shape is that you can choose you're not just limited to rectangle you can choose a disk and you can see that my disk is already uh, scaled pretty pretty high in the X so you now have this nice if I render this instead of a straight softbox shape you now have this nice rounded softbox shape and I'm gonna bring my visibility multiplier down a little bit so you can see that we have this nice rounded shape we can go in uh, it doesn't work with a line uh, it works with a sphere uh, so you render that out and it really doesn't change all that much it's not all that much different from uh, a disk uh, but the nice thing is as you can define a, a spline that you want your softbox shape to be uh, or a cube or you know whatever you want to do uh, one other nice thing is if I go and just say let's make this uh, a sphere with uh, 50 centimeter size and X Y and Z what I can now do is go and clone this light and let's see here go to our cloner settings go to our radial and let's bring our radius up and let's change our plane from uh, 
xy to xz and so now we have all these area lights cloned around our softbox. I'll render this. So you can see our lights are a little bit too bright, but you can now see our area shapes that are cloned in our reflection. I'm just going to bring down the intensity here and let's actually bring up uh, our size to maybe 150. Render this out again. So you're seeing our softbox circular shape showing up here as well, so we probably need to jack up the visibility multiplier to about 2000 to make it show even more. Uh, but the nice thing is that you can then clone that softbox shape, you can change it to a rectangle again, make it a tall rectangle, maybe make it a little bit skinnier, let's really bring up the visibility multiplier, and so now you have this nice uh, set up where you have all these soft box, all these soft boxes uh, created from our area light shapes uh, being reflected off of our object. So very handy, uh, very useful to actually just have this built in uh, show and reflection area shape to create your own soft box uh, without having to create a plane and adjusting it that way. It's all built into your area light. And I'm going to reiterate again that this doesn't show up if you have an Omni. You can see that you know we don't have those options there. Uh, doesn't show up in Infinite, so it's only with an area light that you get this show and reflection and show and render options here. So hopefully that helps you in your workflow, and you can easily cast a nice softbox reflection on your objects by just using the built-in. Uh, show and reflection options in your area lights.